What's up, everybody? Tech Twins here, and it's the purple switched Razer Huntsman Mini. So let's look at the box. Razer optical switches, uh, 60% form factor, which is the same on the red thing. Click the card up here to see the red keyboard unboxing and review. It's not actually red, it's just the switches are red. So on the side of the box here, we have uh, a bunch of stuff you probably don't want to read. Pause the video if you want to. Uh, but let's get to the inside of the box. So in the inside of the box, it flips up like this, and here's the keyboard. Once again, we have this meaningless plastic, I mean, um, cardboard little thing. Here's the charging cable. Let's open up that while Keyboy gets the keyboard and unwraps it. Uh, so it should pull out like this. Oh my gosh, I said charging cable. It's a connector, dummy! Here it is. It's braided, which is very nice to see. Like the red one, it has a metal plate, and the back is plastic with their slogan for gamers by gamers. Once again, you have a 6 degree thing and a 9 degree thing, and you have your little uh, side key indicators indicating what the FN does. Now, Razer did a different approach to the 60% keys, so usually you hold FN, or maybe these are your arrow keys, as you saw in the Roll Clutch 61 if you watched the other review, but they took a different approach, holding FN and I, J, K, and L are going to be your arrow keys. And I really like that because this one button here on the Roll Clutch would have to be arrow up, slash, and question mark. That's a lot of commands on one key, and I would get mixed up which one is which, so I'm really glad they did that. I really like the feel of it. Alright, so as you saw, the Razer Huntsman Mini sort of has like a lower, uh, obviously the lower full distance of the traveling key. This is 1.2 millimeters and this is 2 millimeters. Also, the click is a little bit less loud and also the tone of the click is a little bit lower, which I really like. Something that I did notice while typing is the keys give this awful ring noise if you bang on them, but I'm going to be using it for gaming. And I'm not gonna be banging on the keys. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing this. Not. Oh, these guys on me! These guys on me! And I'm pretty sure no one types like that. So uh, yeah. So you shouldn't have a problem. Much like the red key one, it is very light. There's gonna be a comparison video comparing it to the red switch ones coming out soon. So stay tuned. Now let's do the bend test. Like we said in our other review. I'm not strong at all, but this thing is not flexing a bit. And now, a rattle test. So this keyboard does rattle a bit, j compared to other keyboards. That's just a cable, by the way. But I don't think you're gonna be like, the guys over there Mind you, you can fix some of that ringiness uh, by adding O-rings. Q has one O-ring, and W has two O-rings, and E has none O-rings, so. Default, one o-ring, less of the ringiness, and W has two o-rings. Just some of it is gone. That's going to be it for this unboxing, typing test, and review. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace. Also, if you want to know how to install the drivers, top right corner here. Uh, we review the red keyboard, make sure to watch the whole thing, and we also show you how to install the drivers. So yeah, peace.